All right, so in this problem, they want us to try and solve it without actually graphing the points, right? So we've got these points here, and we're going to try and figure out where are they, right? Um, which point is furthest to the right, which point is furthest left, which point is above, and which point is below the others, right? So they want us to think about this and then graph it to test our points and intuition. So furthest right, well, think about the way that these graphs are set up, right? Our x-axis is here, and our y-axis moves up and down here. So what's the goal? The goal is, right, with the x-axis starting at the origin, because you always go back to the origin here. On the x-axis, as you move to the right, we move in a positive direction from the origin. So maybe you go up 1, and then 2, and then 3, and so forth. If you move in the other direction, that's moving in a negative direction. Negative 1, negative 2 negative 3, and so forth. The y values, right, the y values are similar in that there are two directions, except now up is plus, so maybe 1, 2, and 3 from the origin, and below is negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. With points, points are written with the x-coordinate first and the y-coordinate second. So you could say that the more positive the x is, the more to the right it goes, right? So I'll write this, like this, as the positive increases, right, we go to the right. That's my shortcut. Here, with the y values, as our positive values go up, we also go up, right? And you can keep putting other notations there as well. But here, when they say which point is the furthest to the right, they're really asking us what? Well, with the x-axis, as x goes up, we go to the right. So they're saying which has the highest x value, right? That's it. So here, we have 2 for an x value, then 3, then negative 4, then 4. So far, 4 is the highest. Then negative 4, negative 5, 0, and 6. So 6 here is actually the highest. on the f Highest to the right, sorry. So furthest right. So the answer there is 6, 0. Furthest left would then have the most negative x value. And if we look through here, negative 5, negative 5 is that point. So here's the lowest x value. And that would just be negative 5, negative 5. Which point is above the others? Well, that would be the one with the highest y value. So here, that looks like this point right here, negative 4, 6. And that was just, again, the highest y value will be the most up on the graph. Right? So that's negative 4, 6. So even though x is all the way negative here, that means the point is just to the left, and then it goes up really high. And below would have the lowest y value, right? So here, out of these choices, I notice that 0, negative 6 has the lowest negative value. So now we want to test these out, right? And really quickly we could do this. So let's put our points 2, negative 3, 1, 2, and then down 3, 1, 2, 3. Right, this is 2, negative 3, and then 3, negative 4. So here's 3, and then negative 4 is one below that, so it's right here. I should probably fix my spacing whenever we be able to see that. So this is 2, negative 3, and then, sorry, 3, negative 4 is right here. Okay. And then negative 4, negative 5, negative 2, negative 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here negative 4, negative 5, and then 4, 5, well, up a little bit. So that's 4, and then a 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So that's 4, 5, negative 4, 6, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 6, 2, 4, 6 here. This is negative 4, 6, and then negative 5, 5, right? So it's back one further, and then down 5 here. So negative 5, negative 5, and then 0, negative 6. So it's down here, right? Oops, up 1. There, right? Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then lastly, 6, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? X comes first there in the X direction. So the furthest to the right, right, if we have all these combinations here, is 6, 0. You can see it right there, and that was our answer. 
the, the lowest is the lowest x value for this left, excuse me, is negative 5, 5 here, which we got that one right as well. And then the point above the others is negative 4, 6. That's this point here. And the point below all the others is this point here, 0, negative 6. So you can see the reasoning holds up in the graph. And that's really all you have to keep track of in graphing is your x direction, positive to the right, negative to the left, that's for x, right? And then your y direction, your uh, positive goes up and negative goes down. And that's all that's really happening, the x and y directions. Alright, hope this helped.